Welcome back everyone to Elden Ring. I am back in Crumbling Farum Azula. I think I got the name of the area right. So basically from what I gather here, uh, this is a legacy dungeon. So... Well, I mean it looks like one. So we're definitely sort of progressing in the general right direction. Um, can't believe the game is still throwing smithing stones. Like, oh fuck. Oh shit. Is it a boss? Oh, it's not a boss. Jesus. Uh, how much HP do you have? You actually have a shit ton. Immediate dragon fight. Jesus. Has like some fucked up lightning attacks. Um, this is not the... No, get the... Fuck. <laughs> I'm making an idiot out of myself. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Get that bleed. It's not easy to see here. Uh, I'm assuming this thing is worth a shit ton of souls. Dragons tend to be worth a lot. Please tell me you can bleed this enemy. Like, it definitely looks like you could bleed him. Bigger challenge is hitting him. Holy shit. He seems easier than the last dragon I faced. Oh, he has fire as well. So he's not an electricity dragon. He's a cheater. God, the camera is so bad <laughs> with these big enemies. I know, I know what people always say is don't lock on, but it's like, damn. I'm assuming since this is not a boss, this is not a mandatory enemy. Fuck, this is like... Ah, from soft. Get the camera right for large enemies. Like, they did it for Sekiro. I don't know how we've regressed. You know what? These guys are straight up cheaters. Uh, these little shield dudes. They're like, impossible to kill. Oh, that's his wings. I'm like, what the hell is going on? They don't do any damage, but they're like impossible to kill. Even for bosses. Might not be the case exactly for this guy though. Because he has that fucked up red lightning. Talk about cheating. Okay, yeah, he's definitely cheating. That was... I hit my own dude. Yeah. This ain't gonna work out too well, is it? I've literally dealt less than half his HP. You know what? Fuck this. I'm assuming this guy gives... Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting discoloration there. Hey, one of them still lives. Go on, little buddy. You can, you can do this. Cad is just... I'll do a review of the game when we finish, but spoiler alert, the camera is going to be one of my gripes. It's going to be a major gripe because this this game has more sort of large and giant enemies and dragons and all that probably than any other Souls game before it. And the camera this just it's just not up to par. Um it just cannot handle an enemy like this. Okay, yeah, you don't have to do this. They're really throwing upgrade materials at you, so I'm assuming there is going to be some boss and they're going to want you to 
upgrade your shit. The problem is I think at this point I need smithing stone sevens. If I'm not mistaken. Oops. Ooh. We haven't had stealth in quite a while. Look at how sneaky I am. I'm assuming you can backstab these guys. No, you cannot. Fine, fine. Would have been fun if you could. Interestingly, I did start a new character uh, just to grab some early game footage for any potential future videos and the boss version of this guy actually has a different moveset I think okay let's try it a different way we're gonna give you a surprise and then it should be easy God, your buddy is so blind. He didn't even give a shit about him being killed. Cool. That's much easier. Yeah, this is like... The game is basically telling you to <laughs> upgrade your shit. It's like, do it, do it. Hey, lightning great bolts. If you need something that I'm never gonna use... Well, there it is. I feel like these guys should be backstabbable. But they're not. Such a weird word. I'm sh it's not a word, but... Backstabbable. You know. I still haven't gotten a grasp on the poise mechanics of this game I mean I'm wearing armor like actual armor and I still don't have poise and I still kinda am like unsure about how the whole thing works I'll be able to look it up not that I will be using much armor in subsequent playthroughs. Uh, the thing about magic in this game, whether I go for the int run or the faith run first, is that... Hey, hey, I didn't know there was even a two version of this. Why do you go for the int version or the... or the faith version first? The stat requirements are off the charts for a lot of the spells slash items so I'm not really gonna have the buffer I, don't, I feel like that's not the way but it's, it's, it's a path to really go for any crazy like items and equipment oh hey oh it's these things these things are gross and inflict the yeah that that thing that's the insta-death mechanic of this game. Death Blight. <laughs> That's why I wasn't expecting that. Oh, shit. The question is, am I... See, yeah, I'm just doubtful because there was another path too. I'm going to take a look at the other path because... This feels a side area-ish, and we need to wait for the Death Blight to run out, because if I get hit by another one of these attacks, I'm like, insta-dead. So let's just have a look at the other side. Oops. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, there's a shit ton of you. Oh, 
that's what he does. I was like, what the hell? Because I saw the red lightning and I was like, where the hell did that come from? Yeah, bitch, I got invincibility. It's the power of a backstab. Naisu, dragon spells. I don't know how... I've not looked into it. I don't know how strong faith is in this game. I've seen some of the spells and they look interesting. Probably more interesting than they've ever been. Because faith always tends to... Suffer by being the more boring... Sort of version of... Magic. Look, I'm just looking at the path. There's a dragon there. It's actually a big area. Like, I wasn't expecting this. Because when you look at this on thing on a map, it's like, yeah, whatever. And I know about the other path, don't worry. Haven't forgotten. But this is definitely the way to go. And that's the side hoe. Oh, this is Kelly version. Who's flying off into the abyss? Yep. Okay. Spear users. I hate spear users. I do like that they added these Kelly versions though. To keep it fresh. Ugh, I didn't. I realized I was stupid by not resting up at the bonfire. Because I didn't want to respawn everyone. But that was stupid because now I don't have flasks. I'm like, I know I'm skillfully avoiding all their shots. And that was not intended, but hey, if it works, it works. Don't let him respawn. Okay, come on. It's. Come on. That totally should have been a parry. I realize I shouldn't be doing this with this few flasks. But you know. You know about living dangerously. We're all about that life on the Mr. Sketchhead YouTube channel. There's a big one. Wait a shit ton of HP. And I didn't think the one shooting could still hit me here. That is unfortunate. I'm dead. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Some of these enemies feel like they're just... It's so much simpler to just run past them. That guy being example numero uno. Alright, so... I can't really afford to lose my souls. I was gonna say let's explore the other path, but then I realized it's like... I mean, I can afford to lose my souls. It's not the end of the world, it's just... still. Oh, <laughs> that was a little bit too close. But I think what I can do is... Do this. You guys know about them speedrun tactics. Especially when there's a fucking... Yep. 
speed run this bitch. They're like really, really, like they know this area is not easy because <laughs> they're throwing. Uh, I don't think so. They are really throwing upgrade materials and checkpoints at you. Like absolutely showering you with it. I'm gonna see what I can do with the upgrade materials in just a bit. Don't worry about that. We'll have a quick look and then we can float back to the round table hold if it hasn't burned down already. Hey, what up? You're different. Sheesh. He nearly got me with that too. See, he has poise. Are you done? These guys are like, kind of like the guys from Stormvale. Oh, that's not... I didn't think he would be that good at breaking poise. Yeah, this is straight up. They're like, bitch, upgrade your weapon. That is the same enemy as in Stormville, except they look different. There's the same moveset, right? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it is. And you can be backstabbed, cool. Just doesn't do much. These guys have cool armor. Especially that sort of hat headpiece type deal. Hmm. Broke your lamp. Let's just take a look at just more of these guys. Like sort of that way. I don't know what this area like this area def definitely reminds me of like some other place. Like, an area similar to this has been in the series before. Maybe it's reminding me of Shova, I'm not sure. Oh, you had... Oh, yes! No! The fucking queued up... Fair enough, fair enough. Ha, idiot with the pillars. You are the easiest version so far. Yeah, maybe this this place is reminding me of Shova. These guys, even, like with the red they have on their little capes, they sort of look like the the dragon soldiers you meet towards the end of Shova. Except the damage levels are a little bit different. Whoa, <laughs> that's cool. I like that. Can we get that attack? God, it's so weird that these guys have so much poise. And he can defeat the pillar. Jesus fucking Christ. So th this version is much more difficult than... The one with the dual swords. Fuck. 
3,000 runes for that. Uh, why does that feel like... That kind of looks like a boss arena, doesn't it? Oh man, my nose is itchy. I mean, maybe not. It just looks like the Ornstein room. Anyways, we are going to go back. Oh, we have con a continuation to this story. It's kind of true, bruh. Jesus. Of course there is. This is an anime. Don't give up. Shit. What do weapons go up to? What did people say? This is not affecting the defense. Oh, it does a little bit. Oh, man. Don't give up. What's your name? I, for I forgot your name. Mm, is that the end of the quest line? God, I can't upgrade Luthal. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I've picked up quite a few of these bells, these bell thingies. Let's give them to her. Cool. Ooh. Shit, but it's somber smithing stones. Uh, that might actually still be okay, because I can upgrade my... Reduvia Bloodblade, which is also... It's, it's a good weapon, like... You know. Let's just check this out. Okay, we should be good. Yes, somber ancient dragon smithing stone. I don't have the ultimate one. Yes, cool, 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 cool. Okay, well, I think we have ev everything upgraded as much as I could. Uh, let's head on back. Okay, let's test this shit out. That actually does quite a bit of damage for how fast that attack is. Of course, the Reduvia Bloodblade reigns supreme. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. That's what I really wanted to avoid. I have two of these guys. It's okay, one is almost dead. Okay. That knockdown actually saved my ass. Thank you. He dropped something. armor piece, but it's not the head piece. These guys are so difficult to fight. It's like sort of difficult to explain. Thank you. I gotta check this out. Uh, Banished Knight Armor. This is the one. Okay, game. Okay. I learned my lesson. Too heavy. Fingerprint armor. That's the one I'm wearing. In case you were wondering. Yeah, so this is the part of the area I've not been to. Assuming it's just gonna loop around. Surprise! Get the fuck off. Goodbye. Stone sword key. Oh shit. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yup. Oh, are you... <laughs> GG's Mr. Sketchhead. G fucking G. We haven't had, to be fair with you, we have not had an embarrassing fall of the cliff death in quite a while. And if you were honest with yourself, 
you would have known that we were overdue. So I think there is no other way to go but forward in terms of... Um, well, we do have a shit ton of consumable runes and... Part of me does feel like I should be just using these because... Well, whatever. This does feel very much like we're at the end. Or we're like edging towards the end of this game. This feels like, you know, sort of a dragon eerie type area, you know, where it's like we're getting towards the end. I don't think there's any other way to go but through here, which makes me even more suspicious that this is a boss. Although you don't have summons. Ah, oh, shit, what is it? Godskin. Oh, this is it. This, there, this is it. I've heard about this. Apparently this is like the shittiest boss in this game. It's just a copy and paste version of both of these motherfuckers. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna hate this. I am going to absolutely hate this. Luckily they only have one HP bar. Okay, you have more defense, which is surprising, because I thought Thick Boy would have. Fuck it, what is this damage? Bro! Yes. Oh, and their second phase works too. Where they go all snake and not snake. The fatso just goes like... Just goes like... He does like... Belly counters or some shit like that. I am actually going to hate this. Yeah, I've heard about this boss, like, how couldn't you have heard about this boss? Uh, this is like the most infamous, like, anything in this game. They just copy and pasted these guys, who are supposed to work as sep- Yeah, mm, yeah, this is not gonna- I'm not gonna enjoy this, I can already- I can already tell I'm not going to have fun with this part of the game. Uh, this is like the, okay, you know what, you know the time has come, this is like the thing that, oh shit, oh okay, you can go through here, no you can't, I thought you could go through and jump down, that would be very convenient, um, Uh, what? Okay, whatever. No, no. Let's fight them. Let's fight them before we start bitching too much. All right, mimic tier. I'm praying you are as good as people say you are. Oh, I'm so gonna hate this. How much damage do they deal? And these guys were difficult enough on their own. Star locked. I, I I went a little bit ham there. I wanted to see. Was my, was my mic tier dead, or does it die when you die? Yeah. Did I lose? Did I didn't pick up my souls? Did I? Well, whatever. You're gonna get quite a lot from these two. I'm guessing so. Fuck. 
thing is, my Mimic Tear is getting his ass beat. Can it heal though? Oh man, he's already transforming. Yeah, it's dead already. This is this is fucking great. Oh come on. They they cannot be serious with this, right? Like they're not they're not actually serious with this. Putting these two like this. Like what the hell were they smoking? Maybe I can like very quickly... No, because it puts up that buff. He's gonna roll, isn't he? How, how are you supposed to avoid that? Is it roll? No, it's not rolling. Yeah, and then you kill one, but the issue is... I think they just respawn after a while, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. So you have some, like, leeway until it respawns. And then it's like back to you being screwed. Oh, so you, once the Mimic tier is dead, you can't resummon it. Okay. So that one is nearly dead. Yeah. So the biggest issue with this boss is that I can't even like conceivably think of a tactic because they both happen to be fast so you can't separate them they both have ranged attacks they both have a more powerful second phase and you can't even separate them so yeah like Whereas with Ornstein and Smo, the tactic was clear, you know, divide them up. With these two, like, again, I can't even come up with a realistic strategy. Like, look, they're both equally fast. The fast one is just, the fat one is just as fast as the skinny one. So the standard tactic of separate them doesn't work because look look how fast he is catching up to me I guess you just gotta like get one jump attack in and that's it and run away Oh, he's gonna do the big AoE. Not to mention how much damage they deal. Yeah, I guess this is what you gotta do. You just get one hit in and run away. 
when you can get a hit in. And they can destroy the pillars, which is something I didn't think they could do. And now they're both gonna be buffed. Yeah, oh, fuck off, fuck off. Yeah, fuck off with this, seriously. Ah. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. There is this is gonna this is gonna take ages, uh, and I I don't even know I don't even know how this is gonna be done, like seriously. Um. I heard about this boss and I kind of knew, let me just check, I kind of knew what to expect, again I've heard that there's a boss like this in the game, all I heard was that they just reused two other bosses in a single arena and it just like doesn't work and man were these rumors right, like I don't know how you could think this is a good idea for a boss. This is not how Ornstein and Smo were. This is not why Ornstein and Smo were successful, let me tell you that. I'm just gonna throw out the hint there. Um, there's a very different reason why Ornstein and Smo worked and were a good boss, but... I guess someone at FromSoft has forgotten that. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I will somehow try to do this and not lose my absolute fucking mind. Uh, I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching as always. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give it a like, comment, sus subscribe. I can't even talk. Turn on post notifications and I'll catch you later. Peace out and goodbye.